start with a nice overview of the property. It's a pan from the right down that driveway. We pass the shed, the barn. To the big hill up front. All the way down the driveway. That's my four and a half acres on Be the Change Farm. I think one day, if you look right down here, that, let's see, right there, there's a big valley. We're going to put a pond. The water just comes all down that hill into that little valley and goes right into there. And that driveway acts as a dam. I'm going to plug that thing up one day and put a big old pond there. But let's walk to the barn first. Start over here. Or I put it in a little deck. So my fig trees I'm getting started. 50 of them, if they all survive. That's where I had my lettuce in the winter. You see one row that I left to go to seed and feed rabbits with. But I saw bush beans right there, and I got a little trellis made, some sorts, for the uh, pole beans. I'm starting to run it up. This little gate that I put up so the dogs can't get in. See the greenhouse over there? Big old tarp over there, killing some grass. I'll jump down here for a second. You can see some tomatoes. And it's hard to tell, but on the fence line, on the either side of the gate, and just like every six feet along the fence, there's tomato plants. Pretty much by each pole, all the way around. And it goes all the way down there. I'll show you one. I just dug a two foot hole, filled it with compost and fertilizer, and put a transplant in there. And it's doing good. It's looking a little wild and crazy with the weeds and stuff, but it doesn't seem to really mind it. As you can see, I got a big bunch of big clusters of cherry tomatoes coming out. It's a good one. Anyway, let's walk back up to the barn. I put these little poles up on either side of the barn here because I bought these seeds I was going to put in a bed right here, and I did, but not all of them came up. You can see this right here. This is a summer spintage, spintage, spinach. It's a vining spinach, it's called Malbar spinach. It's supposed to love the heat. But uh, not many of them have come up, but it's supposed to just kind of go crazy like 30 feet or something like that. And I did some more over here on this little bed. There's my cow. All right. So here's the inside of the barn. Call this the breezeway. There's Alfie. There's Lucy. Let's walk in first. Take a look at my what metal wall that I did. Looks pretty good. 
And I guess I'll show you my new tractor first. And I got a big sweeper so it sweeps up all the grass clippings and anything else that's out there. I just got this up yesterday. I'm letting it dry in here. I never have to buy hay again for the chickens or the rabbits. Oh yeah. Just got this riding lawnmower, garden tractor, 22 horsepower. Works really good. Has a 46 inch cutting deck. Some good power to it. Hadn't failed them yet. Let's go to the first stall over here. So this is gonna be like the washing station for greens and root vegetables and stuff. I got a little shower thing, the heater thing broke. I got a little propane tankless water heater. So you can literally take a shower right here if you want to. It's just cold water right now, but I'm trying to fix it. Um, this is my drying rack. If I can turn these big old fans on. And put all the greens right here. And it'll just dry it out. So, those fans were here when I bought the farm. Alright. Let's go to the other stall. There's really nothing in here. I just prepare the trays for the microgreens right here. And just some stored stuff, like my little cultivator tiller. My old biodiesel thing that I never used. <laughs> this is some fertilizer that I use for the garden. So far it works really, really good. Just granular turkey manure. I got this concrete mixer for free. <laughs> and But I've been putting stuff in here after I get rid of the microgreen, empty the microgreen trays, I'll just put it in here and uh, let it spin and be my little spinning composter. But uh, let me back up. Here's the grow room. Sliding door from the tiny house. Walk in. Got a few rows. Only one row with lights. But I've been trying some lettuce. That's Salanova lettuce. It's beautiful. But I'm just trying to get it where it doesn't taste bitter. So I might do indoor lettuce in here. Some red lettuce I started the other day. Some cherry tomatoes I picked. So I let them ripen up fully underneath the light and nice and cool because it's temperature controlled up in here. A little timer. Yeah. Got another preparation table over here. But eventually, to get this room going, I'm going to have a level here, this level here, and another level up here. So three rows on each side filled with lights. And I might do the crack key hydroponic method for the lettuce and plus microgreens. So. All right. So the stall is just storage for wood and stuff. When I took apart the tiny house, nothing special. Big red box came with the farm. I think she used to store hay in there. I just use it to store things on. Another storage room. With just wood next to the chicken coop. Big old rooster right there. Some chickens. Hey, chicka chickies. Got a little smaller pen in there when I buy little chicks. Got some nesting boxes over there I made out of recycle bins. So, push mower, my tiller. So I hooked up this chain to it and I could turn it around backwards and hook that chain to the back of the tractor. Now I can till. The garden while sitting on the tractor, it's pretty awesome. 
Uh, this is the, one of the last stalls. It's my shop. Got my chop saw station. All my tools and stuff. Walk through here and get to the greenhouse, which is not finished yet. But I got a little sprinkler system on a timer up here. There's a bunch of tomatoes. I found this trough in the woods right behind the property. So that's all my uh, soil for potting up a potting mix and everything. Uh, I got some trees right there. I traded for three Asian pears and three southern apple varieties. And, uh, yeah. Built that wall out of pallets. Working out pretty good. I still got to finish this other wall over here. Here's Brian. All right, well, I got a, a TV. <laughs> Why not? I got this little washing station where I weigh the vegetables. Um, yeah, that's about it. Here's the kitchen. Got the microwave for free. I installed my girlfriend's new microwave. She gave me that one. My parents bought a new fridge, and they gave me this new fridge the other day. Here's a propane stove oven that didn't really work that good. Here's the old fridge from the tiny house, portable fridge. And this is the cooler that I converted into a fridge, a freezer that I converted into a fridge with this thing. You drop this copper cable in there, it tells what the temperature is, and you just plug the freezer to it, and then you set the temperature for whatever temperature that you want. It's on 38 degrees right now. And once you do that, once it gets to 38 degrees, it turns the whole thing off. And when the temperature rises, it gets past 38 degrees, it turns back on to get it cool again. So it's super efficient. You could really use it for solar panels and stuff. But I got this on Craigslist for like 120 bucks. It was almost basically brand new. And brand new, they cost five or $600 at Lowe's or Home Depot. Here's my little sink and hot plate. And I had redesigned these cabinets. <clears throat> I needed to put another coat on them. But uh, a little Keurig machine over there. And I built this wooden backsplash. And I actually built this... Uh, wooden thing. There was a Formica countertop there and I just overlaid it on top of the sink and the countertop and made it look like it's an undermounted sink. Done pretty good. The baskets. There's a little hot water heater but it doesn't work. Gotta figure that out. So anyway. little bathroom in here nothing special <laughs> this little farm bathroom and if I get my keys and show you the bedroom slash office Dog, most of everything. Here's the bed. I know it's, my dad just stayed here, so it's not made, but I made this little platform bed so the dogs can't get up there. Got the AC on the timer. It's got three little windows in here. It's kind of like a basement almost. That's what it makes it feel like. When I stay out here, I got a little sofa. There's some stairs to get up on the bed. My dad's here. And piano, guitars, a little shelf over here with some gardening books, a little mirror. Nothing special, just, you know, if I had to live here, I could live here. Nice little closet. Just filled with a lot of junk, really. <laughs> Thank you.
All right. And one of these heaters hardly uses any energy. It's like 70 bucks at Lowe's. And they can go on a timer. Or it has a timer thermostat built into it. It works super good. Got this little makeshift doggy door. See? Come here, Lucy. <laughs> it's an old rug. All right. Let's see, let's go to the main garden. This video's getting long, but you'll probably watch the whole thing. All right. Here's the outside of the barn. A little overhang, just have storage of junk, my scooter. Those are all mustard greens and the pods from the plants that I went let the mustard greens go to seed. I just have to, you know, I'm gonna take them out of their pods. Got tons of mustard seed. Uh, those are all eggplants right there. I got this landscape fabric. Works really good except for the uh, growth in between them. It's crazy. It grows like crazy. But let's start right there. These are empty right now, but eggplant, eggplant, eggplants, some eggplants in here somewhere. There we go. There's one. And this one's empty right now. Some eggplants and the rest of Serrano peppers. And this is bell peppers. This is a new bed I put out the other day. This is some of the billboard tarps. Here's a little crumpled up one I'm not using right now, but if you lay it out, it kills all the weeds and it's really simple to till up. Got a little small bed of shallots. That's all okra. It's getting pretty big. And then all along this fence, there's cucumbers. And then all that zucchini and little raised beds. It's kind of terraced, you can't really tell. All the way down, there's a tiny house trailer. Just sitting there. And then, you see all my sunflowers? It's hard to tell, but there's actually going to be pole beans growing up these sunflowers, and there's zucchini in there too. And it's going to like a three sisters garden, but instead of corn, beans, and squash, I'm using sunflowers, zucchini, and pole beans. But uh, these sunflowers are the same sunflowers I use for the microgreens. So once all these go to seed, I'll have a ton of sunflower seeds for microgreens. Oh, and uh, over there is more zucchini growing up. Let's see. Let's go back. This is the shed that has got some storage stuff in there. I had it at the tiny house. That's the well for the property. Water. Some more tomatoes. All right, let's walk out to the back. Gotta hurry this up. This movie's getting long. I'm just doing some cleaning up with some stuff over here. I'm gonna make these barrels, containers, and put holes in the sides of them, like strawberry barrel. It's just a lot of storage stuff, a lot of metal, PVC, and more metal, tons of pots. There's a big old pot I found on the side of the road, and all those stacks of pots, found those on the side of the road too, like hundreds of them. little fire pit. Here's the compost. I got covered with one of those billboard tarps. 
Here's an old compost pile with a volunteer pumpkin. About three of them. Or two, two medium size and one really tiny one in the back. Here's another look at the property over here. You got these little runway things that go all the way around the property. It's pretty cool. A big hill in the front there. I'm going to terrace that and put fruit trees and fruit bushes on it. Permaculture. All right, let's walk this way. Just another look at the back of the barn. There's Poppy. Say hi, Poppy. Hi, Poppy. That's the chicken yard. Chicken coops right there. And there's rabbits in there, too. It's the house along the way that's for sale. Wish I could afford it. There's a bunch of trash down here. <clears throat> Call this my junkyard for now, really. But there's a runway. See the dog keeps going over there? All the way around the property. And from fence to fence, I'm going to do that concrete reinforcement wire and make arches. It goes all the way down there and put grapes and other vining things on them. Maybe like gourds. I mean, all kinds of stuff. And just have a big tunnel that just goes all the way down there. Muscadines. All right. This is the next field. And I'm starting on planting vegetables. And I hadn't done that much to it. I've been tilling up some new spots. All right, here, some new ones. But uh, I tilled up something the other day and I put beans in there. So there's bush beans going all the way down there, double row. Let's skip down here. And there's squash that goes all the way down, yellow squash all the way down here. And I started some more tilling. Right there. This is where I'd lay down all that cardboard and mulch and stuff. But it didn't exactly work out as planned, so I'm just tilling it up. I did some more little rows right here. One, two, three, four. And you can see there's zucchini all through there. And a fifth one, and there's some zucchini popping up. It's doing okay. Let's walk it this way. Two more rows going this way. I mean, this whole thing is going to have to be tilled up and in rows. I think I might do plastic mulch. Not sure yet. But this whole thing's gonna have to be done that way to make the room that I want, to make the money I want. I'd say this is just under an acre right here. Let's see, there's the barn, main garden. When you walk into this pasture, couple of trees. That's a wild persimmon tree. Puts out little tiny things, but they're not edible. So, probably going to do fruit right here, too. In this whole pasture. I walk through these gates. And you can see it's got these runway things going down. And I think I'm going to cover them with the arches again, but with shade cloth and do shiitake mushroom logs. All right here, and all right there, in between the fences. And they walk into this pasture. See, but the grass is long, and that's the, ne ne the next person's property, the neighbor's. I'm gonna do all fruit right here, too. And then, we can walk down here. Check out all these blackberries. There's just thousands of them. It's all wild ones all along this fence. I 
this whole path I'm walking right now. It could be a driveway one day. And come through this gate right here. Let me show you this. So behind this fence, property goes right to, to the wood line, but it's one of those runways again, and it goes all the way up this fence line up to the back of the property right down here. And this big hill right here. Driveway coming up. Possibly one day put a home site right here. Maybe some shipping container house. Four shipping containers and berm them. But look at this view. The top of the hill, the back of the property. La da da, la da da di da. It's awesome up here. It's really nice. But that's about as fast as I could show you the whole thing, man. So I'll put it up. I know it's probably shaky. Horse flies are trying to bite me right now. God, God. Jesus. But I'll catch you later.